Welcome to MathsMaster.org. In this lesson we're going to look at column addition of whole numbers. So here are two whole numbers, 32 and 64. We're going to add them. The most important thing that you have to remember when doing column addition is that you have to line up the units digits, line up the tens digits, line up the hundreds digits and so on. If you look how I've lined them up here, notice how the 2 of the 32 and the 4 of the 64 are lined up. Okay, They're the units digit in each of those whole numbers. They have to be lined up as shown. Then, once you've done that, it's really easy. All you have to do is simply add up each column. 2 add 4 is 6, so you write a 6 down here. And 3 add 6 is 9, so you write the 9 there. And your answer is 96. Nice and easy. If we look at one that's a little bit trickier now, notice how I've got 154. I've got a number with a, a hundreds digit, but that's okay. The same rules simply apply. Line up all the units digits, line the tens digits up, and line the hundreds digits up as well, and then simply add up each column. So 2 add 1 is 3, add the 4 is 7. So we put the 7 down there. 2 add 2 is 4, add 5 is 9. So we write the 9 there. In the hundreds column, we've just got the 1, so the total of that column is just 1. And our answer is 197. Now sometimes when you do column addition, you have to do what's called carrying. But don't worry, it's not that hard, just watch what I do. 5 add 7 here is 12. So I'm going to split the 12 up, put the 2 here, but notice how I put the 1 down there. Now I add up this column, 5 add 3 is 8, but then I also have to add on that 1. So I get 9 in that column, and my answer is 92. So the main difference with this one was that when I added up the units column, I got 12, and I had to remember to split that up into the 2 and put the 1 down at the bottom of the next column. Let's have a look at another example when you have to do a bit of carrying. 54 add 14 add 235. The same rules apply. Line up the units column, the tens column and the hundreds column as shown. Then simply add up each column. 4 add 4 is 8. Add 5 is 13. So we put the 3 of the 13 there and we put the 1 down at the bottom of the next column. Now we do 5 add 1 is 6, add 3 is 9, and then we need to add on the 1 at the bottom, takes us up to 10. So we split the 10, put the 0 in there and the 1 of the 10 at the bottom of the next column. Now we add up the hundreds column, we've got 2, add the 1 we carried, gives us 3. So the answer is 303. In this last example, we're going to look at one where you have to do quite a lot of carrying. But that's okay, the same rules still apply. Line up the units column, the tens column, and the hundreds column as shown, and then add each column up. 2 add 3 is 5, add the 7 is 12. So put the 2 of the 12 there and carry the 1. 5 add 8 is 13, add the 9 is 22, and the 1 we carry takes us to 23. So we put the 3 there, and this time we carry the 2 of the 23, as shown. Now we add 5 and 7, which makes 12, add 9 is 21, and we, then we have to add on the 2 that we carried. 21 add 2 is 23. So we split the 23 up, put the 3 there, and carry the 2 to the bottom of the next column. Now, if we look at what would be the thousands column, there's none with the original 
whole numbers that we started with, but there is a 2 that we carried from the last number. So the total of that column is 2, and the answer to our question is 2,332. That was column addition of whole numbers. If you want to see any more great maths videos, please visit www.mathsmaster.org.